ask you any more. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? Did you show this to your uncle? Kind of plan to. Senpai, <clears throat> Juma-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. He will ask why you received such a letter. And if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. Mm. But how could the killer know so much about us? Could he be watching us from somewhere? Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Right. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? Yes, he's right. Yeah. All right, mind if I change the subject then? The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon. But aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I bet my lunch on it. Hey, Senpai. Have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. <sighs> she just had to say something. Huh. <sighs> All right, now that they're all done, let's run. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep this going. That's good, isn't it?
part doesn't matter. I'm sorry, Senpai. Oh, Big Bro! And on a come over. You betcha. I'll see you later, Senpai. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that's right. I never freak freak fuck. Ah, oh, damn. It's gonna be too late. What well, doesn't matter? I can do it later. festival and as you also know we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it <sighs> you guys don't care do you we are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far please vote for one of them here they are break area video room and study room wow sounds like whatever we pick we don't need to put any effort into it talk about lack of motivation yeah, but the easier the better, right? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's a group date cafe? Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. Ah, uh, let's do it. All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is... Group Date Cafe. Ah. Uh -huh. Second vote, group date cafe. Huh? Seriously? Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Group date cafe, group date cafe, study room, group date cafe. Uh. Well, first place? What are we gonna do? Don't ask me! 
me! This is your fault! I do wonder, though, do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. What the? You voted for it? Yeah. I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. Everyone voted for it. But Yosuke's the one behind it! Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Oh, don't worry. Someone will pitch in for it. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? They don't care. Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? Seriously, what is a group date cafe? I voted for it and I didn't even know. Oh my gosh. How the heck's this going to turn out? It'll turn out bigger than you ever imagined. It may look like a group date cafe on the outside, but on the inside it is completely different. Alright, alright. What to do, what to do, what to do. Any, no one can talk in a rainy day. Arg. Got one other idea of getting my max courage. Although I really should do that other thing, but I'll do this first. Yes, I gotta take a long ride and get that stuff. Oh shit, I already made it. Oh, okay, I didn't make it, make it, but one more. Perfect, let's do this thing. You guys. Oh, 
why do you come here? This one. He hasn't forgotten. And throw. Yes. What should I have? Heck, maybe our shop should do something like this. How about a gunmo kebab? Or a tofu croquette? Well, if it isn't, Rise chan. Um, you're the deputy mayor, right? Good afternoon. I heard the news. You know, about the upcoming film. Hmm? You haven't heard yet? You know Kanamine, right? Konami Mashta. They're going to be filming nearby, right? I hope they stop by Inaba to... Oh, I know. Why don't you ask? Kanamine. I don't have anything to do with them anymore. But wait. How many are coming? We only have small bed and breakfasts around here. Got it! They can stay at the Amagi Inn. All right, I need to go tell that manager guy I was just talking to. Mm. Hello, there, sir. Oh, Rise John, nice to see you. Inoue san, what do you want today? I'm down here scouting film locations, so I thought I'd come see you. I wanted to hear your answer one more time, face to face. Are you sure you're not coming back? I... I'm not going back. I see. Okay, I understand. Well, now I can focus on my new job. I signed up as Konami Mashita's manager. Remember how we were talking about doing that movie? They picked Konami as your replacement. We're gonna sell Konami. I have every confidence she'll be just as popular. No, even more popular than Rizet. I see. Although, Konami is an ordinary girl. We have to polish her so she sells. <sighs> but you had that spark. You learned fast, adapted well to new situations. Had that smile that could be as strong or weak as you needed. And those acting skills of yours. You were like an old pro. You could have reached heights most girls could never dream of. Yeah, that's what I think, anyway. So, I just had to hear it from your own mouth. Well then, goodbye. Stay healthy, okay? What the heck? That's not fair. After he made me answer? He never told me any of that when we were still working together. Acting skills? Of course I have them! What the heck? Telling me all that stuff now? It's too late! <laughs> hey, why am I crying? There's no reason to cry. There's nothing to be sad about. Nothing. Senpai, I... I don't know why I'm crying. Cry all you want. <laughs> I can't. My eyes will be all swollen tomorrow. I, I lost everything. I don't know how, but I lost everything. I'm scared. I'm sad. What's going on? Senpai, 
please stay here. Stay by my side. Senpai. I'll hold you that. Absolutely. Stamina song. Damn straight. I'm going home now. My head's all messed up. I need time to think it all over. About how I feel now. I don't want to lose anything more. Goodbye, Senpai. Welcome back. Ooh, that's your song idea. Oh, yours? And yours is this. Alright. Hey, you got them too, both of them as well. Oh, damn, it's the results. Shit, I thought it was something better. I'm so close, I just need to keep it going before it happens. Damn, I only have a few more days before it happens. I need kanji and Risa off and at them, but I've been able to get through Risa, which is good. Let's see. Damn! Alright, this way. Damn, damn! None of them are there! Have I finally reached the point where I can't do anything? I know one thing I can do though. Oh, right, I can do the motorcycles. But I could do that, but. That's, that's until the whole thing happens. Alright, what do I do? I know one thing I need to do. Eat it. <coughs> get it. Here you get my... Dibblate thing. This place does have a familiar aura around it. <laughs> yes! Something for Izanagi to have. Hello, Chocolate Man. Jeff, I've got to keep moving. Fudge! It's too little, too late. Oh, this moment. Good morning. 
you can do it. Just duck. Yo! What? Oh, okay. It's quite all right. Why are there so many strange moments with that? It just doesn't make sense. Ooh, who is it? Come on, come on. Oh, no, wait, I bet I know what it is. It's probably a freaking damn it. Fine. Now listen up here. You guys need to respect her. Thank you very much. I am sorry. 